What's up, YouTube world? Welcome back to the Darkest Zera Estate. Uh, I'm not quite sure where we left off last time, but we do have some new, some new people in the roster. We do have a full one though. Don't think we can upgrade it. Don't have quite enough of either the uh, deeds or crests. So, unfortunately, we won't be able to take. Uh... Oh, and he's got some pretty good moves. What does our cultist have? Oh, he's got the pull. Actually, I like, uh... Yeah, I like this guy's moves better. So we'll, we'll keep him. And the bounty hunter, although I do like the, uh... Having two of them, so one can kind of mark and the other can tag him. I think we should be alright with one. Even if we wanted to, we could change up his attacks. And we already have... Yeah, we got two plague doctors, so that's... Alright there. As well as a grave robber. What does ours have? Kinda melee focused, but that's all right. We'll put her in the middle. I don't. We don't have the uh, really any anything to upgrade anything. Our heirloom supplies are running pretty low, as well as our cash is starting to dwindle there. So, let's see what we got here. Debuff zone. You know what? I'll give that to the occultist if we take him. But, uh, yeah, let's see what we got here. Necromancer's Apprentice. We do get a good haul from there, and it is medium. So, I, you know what? I think I'm going to attempt it. We'll have, uh... I don't want to bring Boyvin, and he'll end up going insane. Rallying cry. Yeah, you know what? We'll bring Boyvin. What do you got, Neville? Judgment. Stun. Nothing for... Alright, so she'll be able to illuminate. If she gets moved forward. I kind of want to bring the Grave Robber. So she can uh, do her thing. But we might just end up bringing... Uh, he could do everything from the back row, yeah. We'll put him back there. Should we bring Croc? He's got a nice self heal as well as uh, some good buffs. I don't want to bring anybody in there too low a level and they freak out. So I think. Jishard. Bleed, two points. Yeah, you know what? We'll bring a. Uh, Oh, she can't do that from the... Oh, that only hits the last person anyway. That's not going to be too, uh... Distraught. In fact, I might actually... Buy... Breakthrough. And give that to her instead. So we'll put you... There. Boyvin here. Gale... Or Jayal, whatever you want to pronounce his name. We'll give it an Iron Swan and get Breakthrough in its place. Now who... Do we want to... Does she have any, uh... She has no third moves, right? Or she could Bleed or Breakthrough. Alright, yeah. So you know what? This might actually... Yeah, you know what? Let's... Uh, I don't want to bring Moby and she freaks out. It does say apprentice level one, so you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt it. YOLO, right? We'll bring a good chunk of food. Don't want to uh certainly run out. Nice haul of torches, couple shovels. Uh we'll bring two keys, a holy water remedy, just some stuff to uh hopefully use on uh some situational mastery over life and death was chief among my early pursuits. I began in humility, but my ambition was limitless. Who could have divined the prophetic import of something as unremarkable as a twitch in the leg of a dead rat? In the leg of a dead rat. This looks like the uh, necromancer's apprentice here. Gonna be hunting him down. And we do have a bit of a weird layout. 
Well, you might actually swing straight forward and go around that little roundabout down there and make your way back to the top if he's not down there. So, uh, uh, you son of a bitch. I forgot to put the, the debuff stone on him. God damn it. Alright, well, we got a surprise first off. Get some nice damage on them. And they dodge his second attack, unfortunately. We should be able to finish off one of them now. Press disadvantage. Give them no quarter. Oh, one damage. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Dodge our little debuff there. Just gonna get a three damage attack in before we uh we might not even be able to hit him. Alright. Yeah. Surges as the enemy crumbles. I cannot believe we forgot to put the friggin' the item on him. Kinda peeved about that. It would help a majority of his skills. But, live and learn. Try not to rush ahead. Nice little easy room fight here. Not gonna bleed them. Since, uh, they are all undead. So we'll just get a nice wicked hack in here. Let's see, we could have a pretty decent chance to kill both of them. Let's go for the lowered health one. So, uh... Boyven could uh, get that extra unholy damage. Should I go for the guy in the back? I feel like it might be a waste. Four to seven. All right, so it's both four to seven. This raises her accuracy, unless she completely misses. Oh no, she still gets the buff. Very nice. That will make it likely, so she doesn't miss again. And you know what, I might actually just pull him forward. It takes care of that guy. Nice dodge, Mobic. And you know what, he's pretty useless up here, so let's get rid of some of their damage. Or try to, at least. We could get a, uh, a nice breakthrough here, I think. Two to five. Well, it'll definitely kill the guy in the middle if it hits. Okay, so the the uh the court here dodged it. Such a terrible assault oh. cannot be left on answer. Starting with the crits already, huh? Let's go ahead and damage this guy since he uh does a bit more damage than the knife in the dark here. It's not gonna be able to stress us out. Let's get a you know what, let's get a uh, heal in here, I think. Keep them topped off. Flew out the dungeon. So we don't uh, have to worry about it later on. Kind of scramble for heals. Nice dodge. And we're going to go... She does have a debuff, but... A powerful blow. With that crit, it doesn't even matter. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Nice, some extra gold. I'll take it. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. If only. We could just buy off these undead and say, hey, give us our land back. Let's see if the, uh, the occultists can find something interesting in this bookshelf. Okay, it's just gonna get stressed out there, unfortunately. Now, I don't know what's in here, so let's pop a torch for that bonus surprise chance in case there is a fight. Which there is. I'm not gonna get the surprise, though, unfortunately. And I think I'm going to end up trying to pull him forward again, but he did dodge it. Such is the way of Darkest Dungeon. And with that, I think, um... Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and... 4 to 7... Oh, the dodge. At least she gets that accuracy buff. Just gonna... Oh, nice resist. 
trying to screw with my my positioning here. She dodged the uh, pushback from him as well. Reeling. About to break. Crit and a bleed. You know what? I'm gonna go for a bleed on the acolyte here because she is quite annoying. And you know what? I might actually go for some protection here. Kind of buff up his defense. Should I hit her again? She'll die in two turns if I don't hit her, but that's still a lot of stress. I think I'm just going to go for some damage on the uh, brawl here. Fortunately, that was the worst choice of the two. I do want to try and pull him forward again. Nice. He is stacking bleeds there. Unfortunately, I did not bring bandages. Um, let's try and get rid of this guy. I'm pretty sure he can still attack from there. Now, she will die next turn, but uh, that stress is not what I need right now. I may actually do a stress heal on uh, Boyvin here. He can't do anything, so that's nice. If I attacked him, he would have got another attack in. So I think that was the better option here. Do I go for a breakthrough? I might just have uh, the Grave Robber killer. Uh, the the Kotor. Oh, maybe the Brawler. Yeah, give it to him. He does a lot more damage. And, you know what, I'm going to try and go for a debuff on the defender here. Nice, it did go through. Big hit to his damage and accuracy. Uh, I think I'm going to keep on buffing up, not buffing up, stress healing Boyvin here. Seeing as how I got rid of all there. Oh, with the crit, that's just going to pop it right back up. Nice dodge. Although I'd rather you dodge the other attack. Let's get some damage on the defender here. Can she hit him? Yeah, she can hit him. Nice seven. Dead weight. Not gonna dodge it this time, unfortunately, but she will resist the stun and pushback. And we're gonna have to pop a heal. A nice one heal on a boy in there. Keep lowering that stress. We're in there. We could take the damage from this guy. Especially if we end up killing him. Which doesn't look like it'll be the case. Just get another heal on him. Nice, nice whopping 10 heal. It did give him a little stack of bleeding though. But that is worth it in my book. Now we could just kind of worry about reducing his stress in the time being. Unless he gets some very lucky crits. We should be fine. Unfortunately, I think this will kill him. Yeah, so we did what we could. This expedition at least promises success. Nice scouting chance. Got him down to 58 stress. Alright, so these rooms are empty. I wonder if it's even worth it to continue down for that last room. We didn't get the scout on it, unfortunately. Jaden, what are you doing? Get off the PlayStation. Cat's just running in and out of my room. Uh, you know what? Yeah, there's no fights down there, so I don't see a reason why we shouldn't. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. Check out the loot down there. Yes, eat. That's why I brought the food. Nice healing while we're uh, checking out this end of the corridor here. We'll be a little frugal with torches, knowing that there's no uh, fights here. Let's actually check their trap skills. 40, 30, 10, okay. Why don't you try and open that? Foul smelling air, okay. No loot, unfortunately. Now we don't know if there's anybody in that room, so we will pop a torch. I think one will be good. We'll have to pop another one before we enter the room, but that will be fine. Don't want to waste the holy water on that. We will, however, 
use a key on this cabinet. Nice whopping stash of gold there as well as some crests. Trap there which he dodged very thankfully. Pop another torch before popping into the room. And Tower. nice. Fierce. Terrible. We found the uh material. The Necromancer's apprentice, although I would have preferred camping before running into him, just so we can get uh, some kind of some buffs. But uh, you know, we can't all get our way, so gonna get some bleeding stack on that guy, as well as let's get a weakening curse on him. Hopefully, he's not resistant. Nope, the debuff did go through. Uh. What is this? Boyvin should be able to take care of him. Does he stun base? 70, yeah, 70% 70 chance of this stun, so I'm not gonna bother trying to uh, shadow fade him. I'm just gonna do some damage, get some accuracy on her so she doesn't miss future attacks. And hopefully he one shots this guy. Unfortunately, that is not the case. Got a nice dodge there. Uh, you know what? I think I'm gonna keep stacking debuffs on this guy. 50% damage. I think that should be good for now. We'll, uh, start messing with his dodge. Get some more bleeding on him. He will summon another skeleton, I think. We really gotta heal. Uh, I forgot what her name is. A levy? Is that a levy? I think I brought the other chick. That is not a levy. Throw dagger. You know what? Let's, uh,. Let's just try and get some damage here. Might get a breakthrough. To, uh, finish these guys off. Nice, he did kill that one. Fortunately, he is going to go again. With a stress hit. Not too worried now, but our guy in the back will start to lose it. Let's get a, uh... Oh, the dodge. And she's gonna get the debuff anyway. That really, really stings. We will kill that guy in the middle though. As well as... Oh, the dodge. Why are you dodging? Alright, let's get a heal on her. Three. It's not the best, but it's better than nothing. Flush is willing. Oh, a nice eight hit. She's got one health left, it looks like. Um, I don't want to keep breakthroughing, but it looks like our best bet. Now I gotta focus on getting these guys down. She is gonna go on death door, unfortunately. On the brink, facing the abyss. Take out that guy. Hopefully Boyvin can take out this guy without missing again. Nice. Very nice. Impunity. Okay. Now we can start focusing some damage and now I gotta I gotta focus on healing with this guy cannot risk it and you know what I'm actually gonna take this turn to buff her while there's nobody else on the field kinda counteract that debuff it's gonna attack our back row which is fine they have quite a bit of health Boyvin here is gonna take out the bone soldier like a champ and yeah, I'm not gonna bother with the uh Or maybe I should go for the lunge and try to stun him at least. It does give her a twenty dodge. So why not? We'll try it. We will try it. Let's uh Oh, nice. Nice, nice crit. Got a nice debuff on him, blowing his damage, although he will do a uh stress hit on everybody. Kinda worrying about our guy in the back now. You got this, Mobek. Come on guys, stop panicking. We got this. Nice. Very nice crit. Just keep on taking out those bone soldiers, Boyvin. Gonna do a shadow fade here. Nice. The stun did go through. And you know what? I'm gonna take this turn to buffer even again. See if it stacks. It does. Okay. We're in a pretty good position now. 
and I'm actually gonna buff her again to uh, give Morbik here another Shadow Fade chance. Although, yeah, he did have a 20% boost, so uh, it's got 90% resist. It wasn't likely I was gonna hit that one, but it was worth a shot, and I had to move her back anyway, so gave her a, a very nice uh, dodge buff there. Get some damage from Boyvin. Now it's just guards turn. Nice eight. Was expecting better with those buffs, but what can you do? Gonna whack him a bit with a pick here. Don't want to move her forward again. Uh oh. Come on, Boyvin. You got this. You got this, Boyvin. Gonna heal up Boyvin here. Nice 9 heal. Resisted the bleed. He's gonna take out the bone soldier. Okay, we're we're in a good position here. Nice 9 damage. Oh, he's just stressing people out now. He knows that they're close to breaking. And he's just cheesing the hell out of us. We are gonna lose 2 people, unfortunately. Hopefully we can still finish this. Reeling, gasping, taking over the edge into the madness. Courageous. Gale's just... No evil can stand against the united human intellect. Unfortunately, uh... The walls Morbic in. here is gonna lose the it as well. I don't know how, she's got 96 stress. But I'm gonna focus... Oh, actually, she can hit him from the back, can't she? Yeah. I'm just gonna focus on taking this bastard out. Don't pass. Okay, I'll take the damage. Just kill this guy. Ugh, the dodges are coming into play again. I gotta get a heal on her. Nice, zero heal. This is the bleed though, so... Can't complain. Oh my god. This is where we get screwed over. I can just feel it. The black beast is merciful this day. Nice, keeping a uh, Jacquard here, somewhat sane. We are going to, we can afford to miss a heal, so I'm going to lower this bastard's dodge. I ain't having none of that. It will go for her, unfortunately. Okay, we could take that hit. Injury and despondence. Set the stage for heroism. We do need Boyvin here to kill one of these soldiers. Not going to kill it completely, unfortunately. And this will drive Jacquard crazy. It's amazing, he's just spamming that one move. Yeah, come on, just hurry up and lose your mind. It's probably not going to no take... Hope in this hell. My heals now. No hope at all. We'll take out the guy in the middle. Uh, son of a bitch. We gotta heal. Or actually, can I pull him forward? Let's try it. Oh, we can. That is pretty nice, actually. Let's, uh, you know what? Let's just go for the fucking kill. It's got 11 health left. Hopefully we can do it before they kill uh, Jacquard here. We might rest and explore the rest of the dungeon if we want to. Might not be worth it if uh, they take too much damage here. They're just going to do their own thing the turn that I am likely to kill him. More stress damage is just okay at this point. I mean, they're already all stressed out to the max. Come on. He's got six health left. And you're just gonna pass. Okay. Nice. Took out one of them, thankfully. We're not gonna be able to pull him, unfortunately. Um, you know what? I gotta heal. Nice, so one heal.
You need a healer. How about you do some damage and then you get some heals? Four damage. Oh my god. He might put our, our cultist there on death's door. As life ebbs, terrible vistas of emptiness. We're gonna lose themselves. the only courageous guy we have. And you know what? Screw it. He's got two health left. I'm pulling him forward. I should negate the guy in the back. But once we kill him, we should be able to handle these uh, bone soldiers pretty easily. As long as they don't keep passing their friggin' turn. With no living sinew to actuate them, will these walking bones finally fail? She's got a uh, 20 damage debuff. Uh, should I just go for a straight attack? I think so. Yeah. Hopefully, she doesn't take a another hit. Just gonna put him on death door as well. Perched at the very precipice of oblivion. Don't pass, for the love of God. Okay, at least she did something. We are going to finish. Oh, none of them off. He's got one health left. Thankfully, she resisted that attack. Hopefully, I get a nice breakthrough hit here. Unless she More dies dust. next turn. More ashes. More disappointment. Okay. You know what? I'm going to heal up himself here. Nice kill. Oh, yeah, I'm just getting out of here because this is really aggravating now. All I needed was one breakthrough, but everybody's turn went before her, so there you go. She's dead. We will take our loot, however, from the Necromancer's Apprentice. See you in hell. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Okay, we need to make a lot of room here. Pop some food for these guys. Oh, eat the food, shut up. Hellion? Well, we just lost our Hellion, so... Oh, I think that's the item she had on her, actually. So let's see what we got here. Bleed and Blight Resist. We might actually keep that. We'll pop that the torch. Light, the promise of safety. To get rid of it. Minus, oh no, yeah, minus eight damage. Plus, you know what? We'll put that on him, just to uh, free up some room. We'll put that on you for now. Take those. And both these are Hellion items, which you could have put on our Hellion, but it's not gonna be the case. We're gonna get rid of these uh, medical herbs here. I feel like these items will be worth it. And this holy water. Screw it. Hopefully we have, uh... Room for the sever in here. Oh, was that not locked? Common. Human type. Non-human type. Alright, we'll put that on you for the time being. And... We're probably going to take this gold and go, because... We're done here. I'm not continuing on with three people. Huddle together. Eat your food. And vulnerable. Rats in a maze. Let's try and lower their stress as much as we can. So we have, uh... Less money to spend back at town. Not gonna need that, not gonna need food. We'll reduce uh, the occultist's distress here. Why not? All companions heal. Yeah, why not? Okay, he didn't do that. And the rest is pointless, so. 
Yeah, screw them. Heal one companion, not gonna worry about that. So, uh, yeah, let's just go. Got a nice haul of gold in a combination with the quest reward. Pretty good stack of heirlooms. Not sure if that was worth losing a person though. Got a uh, some pretty bad traits there. Gonna have to get rid of that max HP one. In truth, I cannot tell how much time has passed since I sent that letter. Let's go ahead and upgrade. I'm in a robe, claiming communion with the divine. The flagellants. Madness. And I think we'll get a. Can I increase that? Yeah, let's Strong decrease the drink, cost. A game of chance and companionship. The rush of life. Gale, I think I'll just give him uh, some time at the bar. I think he's he's earned it. As well as a levy, we'll get them ready for the next run. Everybody else should be good. We'll probably take Neville next run as our healer. And Croc and Lovell as our tanks. As well as one of the Plague Doctors. Maybe even Dismiss as our range damage. Let's see if we have another Hellion here. We got three of them. Bleed out. Uh, it doesn't have the debuff, but it bleeds the uh, first target. Rune Swan. Alright, not gonna take that one. Barbaric Yop. We could hack, bleed. We might actually take uh, this one. Might even look at their uh, self only monster size too. That's, all, that's really situational. Bleed out. You know, I might even take her just for straight damage. Yeah, we'll get Barlard here. Barbaric rage and unrelenting savagery make for a powerful ally. And before I forget, let's check their items. Temp of debuff resist. Yeah, why not? You can keep that. Yeah, you can keep that. I just got you. We're going to take these off of her. Gale. Minus eight stress resist. I might actually keep that on him, but... We will see. Uncommon scouting the chance. Yeah, he can keep that. And I think I'm gonna call it here. Uh, I mean, we won the dungeon, but we lost the person, so I guess it kind of bounces out. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens next time. I'll see you later, YouTube. Take care.